By now you should have set up your domain name on IX Web Hosting and you can test to see whether it's active by just typing in your domain name in the browser line. In the case of this student you see that the uh, the domain name is active because when we type in the domain name a placeholder page for the site comes up with a message currently under construction. If you're having trouble getting this set up remember you can always call IX Web Hosting at their toll-free number or even better get onto their live chat line and have a, a tech step you through the process. Now what we're going to do is go back to NetObjects Fusion and I'm going to step you through the process of uh, setting up the site for publishing. We've used site to establish our uh, site structure, page view to view the pages. We've looked at style view. Assets view is just a compendium of objects you've used on the site. But what we need to do now is look at the actual uh, publish settings speed option. So let's click on that. And the first thing we need to do in publish mode is establish our site settings. So you'll note that the settings button has become active once we go into publish mode. Let's click on settings. And note that when this comes up, the publish settings dialog box currently only has a local profile and this is used for local uh, publishing for previewing your site. Whenever you click on the preview button you've just been viewing your site as it would appear on the web within the context of your local browser. Now the steps we need to go through to prepare our site for publishing is, are as follows and you only need to do this once. Let's click on new to set up a new profile and we're going to be using FTP to publish our site. We're not going to be publishing it locally. So I'll select FTP if it's not selected already. And then you can use your own name as the profile name. You're, you're going to need to add your uh, server domain address. In my case, it's GeraldCole.com, but you'll put in the domain that you've uh, purchased. The directory is the same as the uh, server address and the reason they do this is because you can have multiple uh, websites posted on the same server. So uh, under GeraldCole.com I can have Gerald Cole, uh, the GeraldCole.com website or I can have a website for my dentist or for my school or for whoever else I'm uh, hosting a site. But for the time being we'll set, uh, set one up just for us. And then you have to enter in your username, and that's the username that IX Web Hosting prov provisioned you with, and your password. And if you have any questions about this, you can contact IX Web Hosting and they'll um, ask you some security questions, and then uh, once gaining clearance, they'll convey this information to you. So we have our publish settings set up. You can click Test Connection once if you'd like just to see how it's, whether it's going to work. And if you get connection to host successful, that's a good sign. And then we'll just close out this window. Normally what I do at this point is file Save My Site just to make sure that those settings are saved along with the site structure. And then you can you set it and you can forget it. What we'll do now is click Publish Site. And Note that I can publish files either locally or remotely. Up to now we've just been previewing locally, but we want to publish remotely, so make sure that the default, your remote site name is selected. We'll publish the entire site. You also have the option to publish changed assets only if you just want to transfer over what's new. And then click Publish. The site will be converted to HTML, which is the lingua franca of the web and then your files will transfer over to the server. Now this will take a little bit of time so uh, be patient and uh, when, you when this is completed you'll get a uh, site published successfully message. Now that our site has been published we have the file transfer is complete message displayed We'll click OK at this point. And what you can do is go back to the browser and 
type in your domain name. Hit the enter key and let's see if it published successfully. Well, there we go. The site's been put up. You can click on each one of the subordinate links and see how they work. And subsequently, whenever you want to make changes to your website, what you'll do is you'll return to NetObjects Fusion. You'll make your various changes to the site structure or pages. You can add pages if you so desire. But in order to register these changes on the server, you'll once again need to click on the Publish button and then click the Publish Site button and then Publish once again to register the changes and overwrite the old version of your site.